Similis Pinch is ProSim's tool dedicated to energy efficiency using the Pinch method. The purpose of this video is to show you how to do a simple energy diagnostic under Excel using Similis Pinch. Similis Pinch consists of two parts. The first one is the energy diagnostics. It allows the identification of minimum requirements of cold utilities and hot utility and maximum energy recoverable. This diagnostic is based on the pinch method. The second part is the energy integration. The energy integration refers to the optimal synthesis of a heat exchanger network that achieves maximum energy recovery. After you installed Simulis Pinch on your computer, the tool has to be registered in Microsoft Excel using the dedicated ProSim tool with the following method. In the ProSim folder of application, you click on Register Simulis Pinch Add-in. Then you can come back to your Excel spreadsheet and with a simple right-click of your mouse, you can check that Simulis Pinch is well installed and available from Excel, right here. Before starting the exercise, let me remind you of the goals of the energy diagnostic. Get strategic information, theoretical minimum requirement for cold utilities, theoretical minimum requirements for hot utilities, and quantity of recoverable heat by integration, all of that for a selected pinch. Then compare the actual energy consumption of your site. And finally, assess of potential savings. To do your energy diagnostic with Simulis Pinch, first open a new Excel document. For the exercise, you will need to create a table with mandatory data. The data you need for your energy diagnostics. Your stream power flow, your input temperature, your output temperature. When you create your table, so you first start creating three columns with the data in this order. The stream name column is optional. To display stream names in results table and chart, set a table with a column called stream names. Here. Just a little warning. Left an empty column for physical state. Here. It will be your second column. After you enter your data, you will need the last input data, which is the pinch. It is the minimum difference of temperature between a cold stream and a hot stream. And the more the pinch decreases, the more the heat recoverable increases, but the more the exchange surface may increase too. I am now going to open Similis Pinch. So, with the right click of my mouse, I click on Similis Pinch. The window shows up, like here. You can see that you have a pinch value. You enter your data right here. Uh, you also can see that you have a help button an About button, Options. If I click on Help button, I have access to the user guide of Simulis Pinch. If you have a question, you don't know how to, you can go through this document to find the answer. Otherwise, you also can, if you click on About, you have the information how to reach the technical support with the phone number and the email address. You have also the number of the version of the software you have.
with the options button you have access to different things the first one you can modify the language either in French or in English and after that you have some graphs options so after you enter your pinch value you select the data here in red it is warning you that you need to at least select two rows so I click on pinch data selection I'm going to select my three rows here with the stream power flow the input temperature and the output temperature I'm going to click on OK here it is so I have a valid selection here and a valid value for my pinch value here and I'm going to click on calculate so I run my energy diagnostic and at the bottom of my document here I can see that I have new tabs that appeared the first tab here if I go from right to left it's my pinch results I have streams my composite curves T cube and my ground composite curve so here I have my streams so in red color I have my hot streams in blue these are the cold stream vertical placement according to input and output temperature and proportional width I can see here according to my stream power flow on the other tab I have my composite curve my TQ curves here I can see the cold utility the hot utility and the recoverable heat duty here and the next tab I have my ground composite curve and I also have the construction of result table so here I have all the results for my energy diagnostics that I run with Simulus Pinch and here I have the definition of the minimum required levels of utilities and the last table of my result I have the list of theoretical heat exchangers in this column here under streams I have a segmentation of heat recoverable area into theoretical heat exchangers so the pseudo streams may be the theoretical mixture of several real stream so I have my energy diagnostic done with seamless pinch thank you for more information, please visit our website www.prosin.net.